Now, Amy Pathrop joins us this morning to share how equity can hydrate a community. Amy, another burst of sunshine. Good morning Good to morning. you. Good morning. Good morning to you, rays of sunshine. Joining me now and explore this is actress, reporter, and philanthropist Amy Paprat, who has a passion for sharing good news to the world by exploring the greater Los Angeles area, asking one question, what's good? So Amy, thank you so much for joining me. Justin, it's so good to see your face. You are what's good. Oh, you are what's good. So, you know, when we think about the news, everyone thinks of negative news and it has a bad connotation, but you want to change that. So what inspired you to share good news to the world? Well, even in journalism school, they teach you if it bleeds, it leads. And that is true because oftentimes, you know, that is beneficial to know what's going on in the world. And unfortunately, we do focus a lot more on the negative than we do the positive. I just became really disheartened with the unending political news, yeah. with the coronavirus pandemic. And prior to that, just the negativity out there. And it just made me, what the world I was seeing around me was not reflected on the news. And so I thought, there's gotta be a way to share this with the world and give people hope that there are good people out there. If they see this, they'll they'll be inspired to make changes in their own communities and understand that these little acts of kindness go a long way. So you and I workshopped an idea together okay. and co-hosted a talk show. Hi guys, I'm Amy Fafra. And I'm Justin Walter. And this is What's Good. And then it spun out and now I'm doing a segment here um, in Los Angeles on Spectrum One News and it's just such a joy. It's amazing to share this with the SoCal audience and there are so many do-gooders in LA. I was so worried that I wasn't gonna be able to find one story a week. I mean, oh it has just rolled in and it just, I, I'm in such a good place where ideas just flow and everywhere yeah. I look, I'm like, that's a story, that's a story, that's a story. So. <laughs> Well, it's that's awesome. the thing too. It's it's you have been doing this for beyond just the over the pandemic for many years. You had a podcast sharing good news. You had an online talk show, and now you're doing a weekly seg segment on Spectrum News called "What's Good," where you look for good news stories in the greater Los Angeles area. So, how many stories do you think you've done since you've started working for Spectrum, sharing that weekly segment? Wow. Um. Oof. It's definitely almost. It's like in maybe around 80. Oh I know God. that because I have my invoices. I invoice <laughs> just invoice number 64, but some of them used to be like two or three in one. I would wait and like invoice a chunk of them together. So I think I'm up to like 80 or so, which amazing. is really amazing. That's so many good news stories. Now, before we dive into some specific good news stories that you've explored in the greater Los Angeles area, what are some of the main takeaways from sharing this good news that you have? Well, some of the main takeaways are it's they're really simple things. They're really small acts of kindness that go such a long way. Our mutual friend, Megan Snedden, she's a person that she went out into the world because she needed that for herself. Yeah, and yeah. it's that's a common theme that I see is that people are feeling down. They're feeling like they need human connection. So they go out and make someone else's day. And guess what? It actually makes their day. So that just that small thing it's just it's really about we just want to reach out and touch each other and especially in a time of covid and coronavirus where we literally can't touch each other yeah, what right. can we do to make somebody else's life easier and what you give you get back tenfold so it's just so amazing i think when when you're feeling really stressed out or overwhelmed about the world yeah, see what yeah. you can give and you'll feel so much in return what's the reaction you get from disrupting regular news bad news with good news from people that watch your stories not necessarily the people that actually are tangibly in them but just watching well even the anchors every tuesday when my stories go live they i, I see a tone change even when they're introdu introducing my segment usually the story right before me is actually also really good and i'm like oh that could have been a what's good too uh, <laughs> they stack the back for sure but they always leave saying oh Amy, we love Tuesdays with you. Amen, sister Amen. friend. Right. Yeah, come on, I'm with Amy, it. I'm with it. We love you, Amy. Girlfriend. Thank you so that much. Eye is on us always. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> they just have such a a calming energy shift when they see that too, because you know they're they're telling all the news, and it's not always rainbows and sunshine. So I love the feedback from them, and I get I get emails from viewers and people, and even the people that I have done stories on that say, oh my gosh, like donations have poured in today, or the response has been overwhelming, and that's really cool to know that. Just sharing this with a broader audience can help amplify their message if it's someone that is looking to raise money for a certain cause. So it's just cool to know that I'm a small part in helping their message go to a broader audience. I, lo I love that so much. Now, 
there's so many ways to explore the Los Angeles area. You explore it through expressing and showing good news stories. So what's one of them, let's talk about a couple of them that sticks out right away in your mind that you'd want to share with this audience? Well, and Justin, that's a really cool point because I've got to explore so much of LA. It's not just even in my own backyard of Silver Lake. I'm going to areas that I've never even spent time in. So it's really cool. It's a cool way to get to know my city in a new way. I recently went down to Long Beach and did a story uh, with a girl who's been making tortillas by hand and donating 100% of the proceeds to different causes. Um, she's, this month she's donating it to uh, homeless uh, teens that are experiencing homelessness. Another one I did, you would love this. I got to go up in a tiny propeller plane. I, this was my favorite one that I saw. This is insane. Share this, this story. This so much fun. So there's these two boys. Their mom actually reached out to me. She saw another one of my stories and she pitched another idea to me, which I ended up doing about an organization called Cry Out. And yeah. they take teens and they give them an outlet to express their emotions through the arts. Um, a lot of social justice issues. Um, it's, it's really dealing with the black community and how they're able to channel these feelings about George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and just the unending police brutality. Yeah. That organization was very cool, but it turns out her own sons are the most phenomenal young men too. And they explore the world by deep sea diving and flying propeller planes. They're homeschooled. Their story is just really cool and really unique. And so I got the opportunity to go up in the plane with the student pilot, which was a little bit scary, but there's obviously an instructor there. So, uh, so what, it was- what, what, so, so what's the good news there that you kind of shared? Cause for someone who doesn't really know or didn't see this story, you know, two kids being homeschooled who get to deep sea dive and fly a plane. Like, what's my takeaway from watching that? Yeah, you know, my husband always asks me that. He's like, what's the good news angle here? I'm like, you know, it's funny. I never go in really knowing what the story is. And then once I talk to the family, I come out with a bigger picture of like, this is what's inspiring about this. Yeah, and cool. what was inspiring about this in particular is that one of the boys was not doing very well in school. He was having a really hard time. The mom decided to pull them out and their world just exploded from homeschooling. She says they're now world schooled. So it's really about how these boys take what they've learned through traveling the globe with their parents and sharing that with their own community and how they're inspiring others to see the world from a broader perspective. So it's not necessarily always something tangible like making tortillas and yeah. donating the proceeds. It's really just about people living their lives in a very different, unique way that can make you think and go, it doesn't always have to look traditional or be the way that I thought it would be. Like, why don't I try flying a plane? I never knew that was something like a hobby that you could do as a teenager. That's kind of a cool thing to know that it's not always like group sports like soccer. What if you're not a person that's athletic like that? Well, but even, I just got scuba certified last year during the pandemic. I'm in my mid thirties to explore the underwater world at that age is a gift. Yeah. And even using the world, like you said, as a classroom, I'm a big proponent in travel and exploration is the best teacher we can have. So it is inspiring to hear a family doing that that could inspire other families to incorporate that into their education and learning. So if anybody wants to follow your stories, where can they watch you on Spectrum and then social media and any other places? You can see my stories on Spectrum One News SoCal every Tuesday morning at 624 and 824 a.m. After the airings, I upload everything to my YouTube channel, which is Amy Pathrath TV. So follow along and stay tuned in to what's good out there. And on Instagram, you are at Amy Pathrath. Amy Pathrath. Yes. Thank you so much, Amy. Thanks, Justin. I want to hug you.